Friends, Greg, new master here, coming at you again with another action figure review. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and help me build my channel. Appreciate it. So today I have Star Wars, the vintage collection, the Emperor himself, good old Sheev Palpatine, good old Darth Sidious, good old the Phantom Menace. I'm old school, so to me, he's always just the Emperor. Um, man, what a great character. Uh, I remember first seeing him in the original Empire Strikes Back when he has this weird mangled face and he talks to Darth Vader. Uh, then we get Ian McDermott in The Return of the Jedi and, ah, oh, man, what a masterful performance. You know, for people who crap all over Return of the Jedi and always just hype up The Empire Strikes Back... Look, I get it. Empire is amazing. It changed the world uh, with science fiction, just as the first one did. But the performances in the Return of the Jedi, especially of the Emperor, of Luke, of Darth Vader, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I love that movie. I love it. It, it was uh, the main Star Wars that I initially grew up on. It has the best introduction with uh, Luke rescuing Han and Leia and Lando on the sail barge. Uh, and Luke and all of his awesomeness. awesomeness. Uh, the ending is phenomenal. Uh, the only bad part about it is the Wookiees, or I mean the, um, the Ewoks, but I even love the Ewoks. So I don't know. I don't know. I love Return of the Jedi. It's my favorite Star Wars movie. I can't help it. I can't necessarily say if it's a better film than Empire Strikes Back, but it's phenomenal. And a reason it is phenomenal is because of the Emperor. So, uh, yeah, I just, I was able to pick this up. Um, he's floating around the stores uh, with the IG-11 figure, the new Lando figure, and I forget what else is the fourth one in the series. I'll let you know as soon as I flip this guy around. But let's get into the uh, review. Uh, honestly, is there not a better Star Wars toy line than the Vintage Collection, in my opinion? Uh, the scale is perfect. It lines up with how it's always historically been. Uh, they just keep getting better and better uh, with the imaging technology. And I already have three Emperor figures, but the face sculpt looks so good that I just had to get this because it looks just like he does in Return of the Jedi. And I know they're coming out with the Throne Room diorama, which I wanted to get. And it has a different head sculpt, but I had to get this. So let's get into it. I'll stop blabbing. Uh, let's take a look at him in the package, even though I'm going to open it up for you. Really nice card. <laughs> this is when he's laying the smack down on Luke when they're having this uh, war of words and just a intellectual sort of philosophical uh, discussion. Uh, here are the other figures in the series. Um, so I think it, these four just dropped. So it was the Emperor, IG-11, Lando, and I think this Ewok. Uh, what's his name? Tebow? Like Tim Tebow? Interesting. Uh, already did a review on Admiral Akbar. Uh, Han Solo dropped uh, Endor. Luke uh, with Hoth already dropped, and so did the Emperor's Royal Guard. So a lot of these are just uh, repacks with new head sculpts, but looks phenomenal. This is VC 200, Vintage Collection 200, and let's open him up. Also, I heard that there are some new features to this figure besides the head sculpt. So, oh, look. So, it's a double bubble. Uh, so, you get the, the force lightning hands and his cane and a separate uh, compartment in the bubble. Uh, came just like that, which I think is nice. And I actually think I'm going to display this emperor with the force lightning hands because I don't normally do that with my emperor figures. So let's get him out here. So I'm normally not a fan of the sculpted uh, hood, but it matches so nicely uh, with the soft goods that I actually like it. It looks really good. They did a really good job. And it looks like the soft goods cloak is new. Um, so 
Wow, this is really nice figures. Very different than the other uh, Emperor figures I have. So this is my primary Emperor figure. This is the Legacy Collection. Completely soft goods with the cloak. Uh, there is his face, but let's get a comparison of these two mugs here. The ugly mug. The Emperor is all deformed from the dark side. But yeah, now that that is a good looking Emperor. Like, look at the cheeks. I'm going to remove uh, the soft goods hood here. Just pop this baby off, and we can get a really good look at this face sculpt. And it's so small, like, it's so impressive. Like, you can, I don't know if you can see this on camera, guys, but just like the nice, minute paint details. Uh, look at the cheeks. Look at uh, this emperor's cheeks, how they're nice and lined. This, this is a whole new head sculpt compared to this one. Uh, and he looks so much better. Just the nice, ugly, gritted teeth. It looks just the way that Ian McDermott did in Return of the Jedi. Uh, the thing, too, was about Ian McDermott. Like, when they did the prequels, uh, Ian McDermott had gotten older, even though these movies took place before Return of the Jedi. So his face had softened and his jowls had got looser. Where, if you look at Ian McDermott back in Return of the Jedi, he was a pretty young guy then, even though he was made to look old. So his face looked a lot more tighter and sculpted, um, where when he got older <clears throat> and filmed the prequels and even uh, the sequels and the newest Star, uh, Star Wars, like his neck jowls really stuck out. So his face lines weren't as sculpted as they were back then. Uh, so I love this uh, image of him because it looks like his face is like nice and tight and sculpted and he has that scrawny neck and I, I just really appreciate that about this new figure. Um, so I'm going to take off his cloak here and that way we can sort of compare the body sculpts. Uh, it looks like the cane is the same. So here's the old body sculpt. This is Legacy Collection, Palpatine. They even sewed it at the top here. So it looks like a whole new cloak. The The sleeves are nicely sewn and bunched up. It's it's very nice. Very nice figure. Uh, they really uh, went all out for this guy. Which now I don't regret getting him because a lot of it is new. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and carefully remove his cloak so I don't tear it. We can kind of go over some articulation here. Yeah, I don't want to rip that because it's so nice. Yeah, so it's a nice, um, if you guys can see that there, it's sewn right at the top. Very nice, nice soft goods cloak. Very impressed. And here is the, the hard goods hood. Uh, so you can see that it blends pretty nicely. So let's take a look at this body sculpt here. Here's the new figure. Um, I don't know if my joint is screwed up here. Just uh, It's not flush and smooth, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's see what he's got underneath. Uh, we have, we just have, okay, so they didn't give him the new hip joints. Um, so they kept that the same. So he has the standard uh, uh, no articulation in the hip, so his he can't do a uh, straddle. But that's okay. I thought maybe they would do that. He also has like this long skirt there. And let's look at him. So yeah, this is this is a new body sculpt. Uh, the arms and the hands. Uh, they look similar, but no, this is all new. It doesn't look like any reused parts from this guy, which they've done a lot. So I'm going to put him down. So this is, uh, this is Palpatine from, this is Darth Sidious from episode three or episode one vintage collection. And even his, uh, legs are different. He's also in like a one piece. So I'm going to take this off. He's nice and young. Oh yeah, this is episode one. So I really love this version of the Emperor 2. So you can get him young and not all mangled yet from the dark side. Um, 
to take this off. This is a great figure, by the way. This is episode one. I also love the fact that you get his nice, elegant-looking lightsaber. Uh, just a really nice hilt. It's red. And you get the little uh, unignited lightsaber that you can attach to his belt as well. So let's compare these two. And, ah, uh, okay, okay, so this is, this is this, this is a reused body sculpt of the episode one, then, you just get a new sash, and, yeah, see the boots are the same. Okay, so that's what they did there. They reused the Phantom Menace, um, Darth Sidious body, and gave him a new, um, uh, skirt and sash. Um, and then they gave him a new head sculpt. So that's what they did. That's okay. Uh, he still looks really good. Uh, here's, uh, his accessories. So we get his, um, black cane. And let's compare that to the other cane. Uh, a little bit more detail. That's a Legacy Collection cane. This is the new one. So it's more detailed, so that's nice. Uh... Ooh, let's see if it fits in his hand. Yes, yeah, so it's a little loose in his hand, but it fits like so. I'm going to go over the articulation really with you. So he has uh, shoulder joints. He does not have... Okay, so it's the old school single ball joint. He doesn't have that new double ball joint that they've been doing. So you've seen this body before if you have had the uh, Darcidious... Vintage Collection Episode 1 figure. Uh, he's got a twist in the torso. Uh, it's not on a ball joint, but it's kind of a loose plastic. And then just the old school hip joints where it only goes up and down. We have a little bit of bend in the knee. Uh, there is some ankle articulation, not much. There's an ankle rotation. And that's about it for um, the Emperor. But that head looks great, and the figure, for the head alone, it's worth getting. Uh, let's get the hands out here. And they look really nice. Um, look at how they put, like, uh, look at the red coloring on the fingertips. It looks, like, bloody. It looks very horror, horror film-like, which I really appreciate. So I think they did a really good job on that as well. And... I'm just going to throw his cloak back on real quick and switch out the hands so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that diorama. Pretty much, I just want the chair alone. I wish they would have, uh, you know, done it a little bit more detailed. They would have incorporated the stairs. Um, you know, they could have made a really nice throne room playset instead of just giving the little tiny diorama. But I'm excited to have the Emperor's Chair at minimum. So that's very exciting. So his cloak goes on like so. And switch out his hands. So you guys can get a good look at that. And gotta love the Force Lightning. Which looks very good. Yeah, so that looks wonderful. Just pop that back on, and, and there he is, man, looking nice and evil and malevolent. The Emperor himself. They did a really good job on this repacked figure. He looks fantastic. Um, highly recommend the figure if you love uh, classic Star Wars, if you love the Emperor. Um, just look at the sleeves there. They just look so nice. They did such a... It made such a vast improvement on this figure, so I highly recommend it. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Star Wars Vintage Collection, The Emperor VC200. God bless you all. Peace.